film about war, film about bestiality, film about those ads that distract you on the highway, film about LGBTQ or us, blah, 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 blah. Ah, what the frick? Batman, Batman, what's wrong? Robin, we have been snubbed by the Oscars. Roll credits. Hey, shut up! This is very serious. So the Lego Batman movie didn't get an Oscar nomination. So what? So what? So what, Robin? <laughs> Robin, are you a Bernie supporter? Because I cannot believe how ignorant you are being right now! What? I think Bernie would have been just as good as Abraham Lincoln. La, 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 I'm not listening! Robin, you just don't get it, do you? No, not particularly. Do you have any idea what films are nominated in my category over my critically acclaimed masterpiece that currently holds a steady 7.3 on IMDb? No, what? Ferdinand, which currently holds a 6.8 on IMDb. Pathetic! Loving Vincent, which currently holds a 7.9 on IMDb, which granted is actually a higher rating than the Lego Batman movie, but Loving Vincent has over 77,000 less reviews than my movie, so it doesn't count and is pathetic! And do you know what else they decided to put in my category instead of myself? What? The Boss Baby! Which currently holds a 6.4 on IMDb, and how the heck did it get that high? I don't even freaking understand! Did you see The Boss Baby? Heck no, but I don't need to see it in order to know that it sucks! Alec Baldwin decided to play a CGI talking baby because he was just that desperate to regain recognition again since he's so old that nobody gives a crap about him anymore. Do you know when Alec Baldwin was born, Robin? Uh, no. 1958. Old. And do you know when the best Batman ever, aka my homeboy Will Arnett, was born, Robin? No. In the golden year of 1970, baby. But not Boss Baby, because that movie sucks. I I would have never assumed that you were referring to the Boss Baby when you said that. Oh, and then they snubbed me so hard that they actually had the audacity to, instead of nominate my movie, nominate a film that no one's heard of that currently holds a 7.4 on IMDb, which granted is one point higher rated than my movie, but it currently only has 434 reviews on it, with only one written review. And do you know what that first and only written review that shows up says, Robin? No, what does it say? 8 out of 10. Very good indeed. And do you know what the first written IMDb review for my movie movie says, Robin? Just say it, Batman. I really have no idea. 10 out of 10. Just go. I'm telling you, Robin, if I hadn't already seen my movie 872 times before I read this review, I would have read it and immediately been like, well, oh, sh**. I better get my high fructose corn syrup filled butt off of my couch and buy my ticket and pre-order the Blu-ray combo back immediately. Wow, that's quite the reaction, Batman. Well, it's certainly a better reaction than the one I'm getting from this breadwinner review. Very good indeed. Yawn! I can't believe I'm still awake after reading that snooze fest. So, why do you think they chose not to nominate you? Oh, they're just going to make the excuse that they can't nominate it because it has live-action elements in it. But that's ridiculous, because do you know what other animated movies have live-action elements in them, Robin? What? Best animated feature film winner, Wally! Best animated feature film winner, The Curse of the Were Rabbit! As well as every stop-motion animated film to get nominated for Best Animated Feature Film at the Oscars ever! They are literally made up of live-action elements, but apparently they count more than my 95% CGI movie! I am feeling some serious shade from the Academy right now, Robin. Some serious shade. Why was that shot completely live action? I'm spitting in the Academy's eyes so that if they ever want to apologize and take me back, they can't because this beautiful work of animation doesn't qualify and, uh, and uh, I completely forgot where I was going with this. Yeah, that was really stupid. But to add on to my current rage even more, do you want to hear a list of films that have more Oscar nominations than I do? Not really. Despicable Me Too, Trolls, uh, Transformers Dark of the Moon, Suicide Squad, the, the, the boss baby! Wait, weren't you in Suicide Squad? I was only in it for a couple of seconds, that doesn't count! But moving on to films that are specifically nominated this year, let's look at my IMDb movie synopsis and see how theirs compares. The Lego Batman movie, a cooler than ever Bruce Wayne, I don't even need to read the rest, I'm completely blown away already and my finger slipped and I accidentally just bought 18 physical copies of the soundtrack. Now let's look at the synopsis for a film that's up for best picture this year. Lady Bird, in 2002, an artistically inclined 17 year old go, this isn't about birds at all, rip off, next. Call me by your name, uh, just gonna skim through this one, uh, something about Italy, something about the 80s. Uh, emerging sexuality. What? This is just propaganda. I guess next time we make a movie, we'll just have to call it the Lego Batman LGBTQRS bird metaphor movie. Boom! No one's seen it yet, and there's already Oscar buzz. Okay, I think this video is getting a little too long, and I think you've rambled on quite enough, Batman. Do you think there's any positive you can take out of all of this? Like, maybe even any film you can see yourself possibly rooting for? Oh, pfft. Coco 100%. Even if I was nominated, I'd be rooting for that film. Not even Batman can match the masterful beauty that is Coco. Just by saying that title, I'm already starting to sob a million tears down my face under this mask.
This is an outro screen. No, it's not very professional, but it gets the job done. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.